Hello, good evening, welcome back to my channel where today I will be doing match week 3 of the UEFA Champions League. Now, let's have a quick look at how I did last, uh, the last time the Champions League was played. Um, now, this was a while ago, to be fair. Obviously, we've had a big international break as well. Um, so, obviously, Champions League coming back this week as well. So, should be should be very, very good. Uh, so, let's have a look, quick look at how I did last week. So, um, last week, last time the Champions League was on, even. Yeah, so. Uh, um, so... Real Madrid Club Bruges, I went for a 2-0 win to Real Madrid. That was a 2-2 draw. So Real Madrid have not started very well in this Champions League. Atalanta Shakhtar Donetsk, I went for a 2-1 win to Atalanta. Finished 2-1 to Shakhtar. So again, not not uh, not doing too well with that one. Galatasaray PSG, I went for a 2-0 uh, win to PSG. That finished 1-0, so kind of in the ballpark there. Uh, Red Star Belgrade, the Olympiacos, I went for a 1-1 draw. It finished 3-1 to Red Star Belgrade. So there we go. Tottenham Bayern Munich, I went for a 2-1 win to Bayern Munich. That finished 7-2 to Bayern Munich. That was an uh, absolute hammering, that one. Uh, Man City, Dinamo Zagreb, I went for a 3-0 win to Manchester City. It finished 2-0. Um, Juventus Bar Leverkusen, I went for a 2-0 win to Juventus. Finished 3-0. Uh, Local Moscow, Atletico Madrid, went for a 2-1 win to Atletico Madrid, it finished 2-0, so there we go, so that's a good one, um, and then Genk, Napoli, that was a 0-0 draw, so that's that's quite interesting, um, Borussia Dortmund obviously winning against Slavia Prague, Liverpool winning 4-3 against um, Salzburg, uh, Barcelona winning 3-1 against Inter Milan, um, Leon beating Leipzig, that was a bit of a shock. I don't think anyone saw that one coming. Um, Zenit beating Benfica as well, so that was that was another big, big shock as well. Chelsea winning 2 1 against Leo, I did predict that as well. And Valencia beat Ajax by three goals to nil. So, some good games coming up in this one. So, it will be very, very interesting how the teams. We'll be playing in uh, in game week three of the Champions League. So we have an early kickoff tomorrow, and it is Shakhtar Donetsk against Dynamo Zagreb. Um, now obviously Shakhtar have lost one and won one. Uh, Dynamo Zagreb have won one and lost one. Uh, obviously Dynamo Zagreb losing to Manchester City last time out, um, and unfortunately they are away from home. They're not doing very very well away from home. Um, so I have to. Th I have to say that I think that Shakhtar will get the win here. I think Shakhtar will win this one. I'm going for a 2-0 win to Shakhtar Donetsk. Uh, and this is uh, there is another game that has been played at um, 5-6, to six, and that is Atletico Madrid against Bayer Leverkusen. Now, Atletico Madrid have one draw and one win, whereas Bayer Leverkusen have lost both matches, and one of those was to Lokomotiv Moscow at home as well, so it's not been a very good time of it for Bayer Leverkusen, so that's going to be another interesting one, but for me, just you cannot back Atletico Madrid, um, at, uh, uh, you cannot back against uh, Atletico Madrid at the Wanda Metropolitano, you just can't, so for me, Atletico Madrid will win by two goals to nil. Uh, I don't see Bayer Leverkusen scoring in this one, um, so that is what I'm saying. And then we move on to the 8 o'clock games, and um, we go into Real Madrid's group, which is Club Bruges against PSG. Now, obviously, Club Bruges have drawn both games. They've drawn against uh, Real Madrid, and um, they also drew against Galatasaray. So they've, you know, two points from that group so far is very, very good. PSG have won both games, 1-1-0 um, one, in Galatasaray, and then they won, uh, they beat Real Madrid, of course. So, in my opinion, I think PSG will win this one. I think they can go to Belgium, play some very, very good football. I, I do expect PSG to win this one. I'm going for Club Bruges, nil, PSG, 2. So, that is that. That is another one for me. Galatasaray or Real Madrid, now... Obviously, Galatasaray have a draw and a loss. Real Madrid have a loss and a draw. Which way is this going to go? I'm going to predict an upset here. I actually think Galatasaray can actually win against Real Madrid 
in Turkey. It's going to be a very, very hostile atmosphere. We all know about Galatasaray at home uh, as well. They've got a pretty good home record as well in the Champions League. So I think that Galatasaray will win by two goals to one against Real Madrid. I'm going for Galatasaray to win by two goals to one against Real Madrid. I just feel with this moment in time, Real Madrid's form is a bit unpredictable at the moment, so you can never tell with them. But I have a feeling that Madrid will lose in Turkey. So there we go. I'm going for a wee upset there. Going for a Galatasaray to beat Real Madrid 2-1. And now we move into Tottenham's group, which is Olympiacos against Bayern Munich. Now, obviously, Olympiacos have a draw and a loss. Uh, Bayern Munich won both games, uh, especially 7-2 against Tottenham the last time out as well. That was an absolute hammering that they gave out to uh, to Tottenham. And, um, you know, obviously, they're free scoring at the moment as well. Obviously, they drew 2-2 against Augsburg at the weekend, but I don't think that's going to be um, affecting them. Olympiacos do seem to score goals though when they are at home, so I do expect that to uh, to happen again. But I just think Bayern Munich will be far, far too strong for Olympiacos. I'm going for a 3-1 win to the Bavarians there. Um, and then obviously we've got Tottenham against Red Star Belgrade. Now Tottenham have not started this Champions League at all, very, very well at all. And obviously draw against Olympiacos and then that heavy 7-2 defeat to Bayern Munich. Whereas Red Star Belgrade have lost one and won one. So, um, you know, obviously they'll they'll go into that game thinking that they can take something from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. But unfortunately, I just think that Tottenham will need to bounce back because they have been in free fall le- recently. And if they don't win this, they go away to Anfield on Sunday. That will be an interesting game, especially with the way Tottenham are playing. So... For me, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Tottenham, but I do think it will be very, very nervy, and I do think Red Star Belgrade can make it very, very tricky for them. So I think that Tottenham will win that one, but it will not be comfortable going for a 2-1 win to Spurs. Um, and then obviously we move. Uh, obviously we have Manchester City against Atalanta. Now obviously Man City have won both games. Atalanta have lost both. So you can't really say much. I you can't back City a we um you cannot back against City at the Etihad. So I'm going for a three 0 win to Manchester City and this Champions League probably Atalanta probably just want to say goodbye to very very quickly. They are they, they just don't look like um getting any points out of this group. So I know they're newcomers, but. This will be a learning curve for them, but I just don't see them picking up anything from the Etihad. I'm going for a 3-0 win to Manchester City. And now uh, we have Juventus against Lokomotiv Moscow. Now Juventus obviously drawing with Atletico Madrid, and then obviously winning uh, last time against Bayer Leverkusen, where Lokomotiv Moscow have won one and lost one. Obviously Lokomotiv Moscow won in Leverkusen, and then obviously lost to Atletico Madrid. In the, in the very last game, but it's in Turin, it's at Juventus Stadium, can't see anything other than a UV win, going for a 3-0 win to Juventus. Um, now obviously we've got another group that is poisly balanced, I uh, would have to say in this one, uh, Leipzig against Zenit, now this is going to be an interesting game, because obviously Leipzig have won one and lost one, whereas Zenit have drawn one and won one. So it's going to be a very, very interesting game. Um, but I do think this will be a draw. I don't, I don't see many goals. Um, Leipzig are doing okay in Germany. Um, but I, do, I just think that they are going to get a draw here. And um, I think it'll be a very good point, actually, for uh, <coughs> Leipzig. So I do expect Leipzig to get a point in that one. Going for a 1-1 one, one draw in that game. Um, Ajax against Chelsea now. This is obviously we are moving to um, Wednesday now uh, games. So the first game is quite a mouth watering one. If actually Ajax against Chelsea now, obviously Ajax have won both games. Um, oh yeah, sorry. Um, I said Valencia beaten Ajax. Sorry, Ajax have beaten Valencia. Sorry, my apologies. My apologies. Ajax have beaten Valencia. Um, so. They come up against Chelsea, have obviously lost one, they lost to Valencia, and obviously Chelsea won in Lille uh, as well. I'm going to back the Dutch side here. I just think that Ajax at home are very, very strong, and I do think they will 
beat Chelsea here. Uh, I do think it'll be a very, very close game, but I do expect goals. I'm going for a 2 1 win to Ajax in this one. And then we have. Is there only one game on the, uh, on the Wednesday? Oh, my apologies. Leipzig Zenit is a, a 5.55 kickoff on Wednesday as well. Um, along with Ajax and Chelsea. So so there we go. So now we move into Liverpool's group. And I'm go, uh, and we have Salzburg against Napoli. Now, uh, Red Bull Salzburg have won one and lost one. Uh, obviously, they beat Genk and lost to Liverpool. 4-3 um, last time out. So that was a pretty good... They played very, very well in that game. Uh, Napoli, obviously, uh, winning against Liverpool and drawing against Genk, which was very, very surprising considering that uh, they didn't, uh, you know, they weren't they weren't great in Genk, but it's one of those one of those ones that you would have to say that they would uh, you would expect them to uh, to get something from uh, from Genk, but obviously they got a point, so yeah. Um. I have to say, though, I'm going for another upset here. I think the way Salzburg played against Liverpool, I can just see Salzburg picking up a win against Napoli. I'm going for a 2-1 win to Red Bull Salzburg in this one. Yep, I have a feeling that Salzburg will pick up a win against Napoli and call me bonkers, but I have a feeling that they will do that. So, going to be very, very interesting indeed. Genk against Liverpool. Now, Genk obviously have lost to Red Bull Salzburg. And they drew against Napoli. Very surprising as well. So, Liverpool obviously losing to Napoli. And obviously winning against Red Bull Salzburg. Um, I think this one... I think Liverpool will have far too much for Genk. I, I just have a feeling that uh, Liverpool will want to bounce back from the draw at Old Trafford. I do expect them to win this one. I'm going for a 3-0 win to Liverpool in this one um, now probably the game of the midweek games as for, for sure for this one, Inter Milan against Borussia Dortmund now, interesting interesting indeed <coughs> excuse me um, so obviously Inter Milan have drawn against Slavia Prague and they lost against Barcelona whereas Borussia Dortmund have drawn Against Barcelona and won against um, Slavia Prague. So that is interesting. Um, this game, both sides are scoring goals. You can quite clearly see, obviously, Lukaku was on the score sheet. He scored twice against... Um, oh, who, did, who did Inter play? I can't even remember now. But he did score two goals for Inter Milan at the weekend, did Lukaku. So I expect Lukaku to probably score again. I'm gonna go for a. I'm actually gonna go for a score draw on this one. I, I I I do fancy both sides to score goals, and I do think they will score goals. I'm going for a two-two draw between Inter Milan and Borussia Dortmund. Uh, Slavia Prague against Barcelona. Now the last time, uh, obviously Slavia Prague drawn against Inter Milan, and they've obviously lost to Borussia Dortmund. Where Barcelona have drawn against Borussia Dortmund and won against Inter Milan. Can't really back against Barcelona, if I'm being honest. I know it's a hard place to go. Obviously, Prague, they'll have their home fans in front of them. Um, be an interesting game, but fancy Barcelona to uh, to sneak that one. Uh, it's, sorry, to sneak that one. I expect Barcelona to be far too strong, I should say, for Slavia Prague. I'm going for a 3-1 win to Barcelona. And then is that we have two more games left. We've got Benfica against Lyon. Benfica have lost both games. Uh, whereas Leon have drawn one and won one, um, and it, because it's in Portugal, you know you would probably back Benfica, but Leon they've started very well in this Champions League, so I expect I I think it's gonna be a draw. I don't see don't see um, both sides winning this one. I'm going for a one one in this one. Benfica one, Leon one, and finally we have Leal against Valencia. Now obviously Leal have lost both games. Valencia have won, won one and lost one. Um, so, because Lille, obviously at home, you would expect probably Lille to maybe get something from this, but I just think because of the quality of the teams in this group, Lille are probably going to be the basement boys of this group. So I'm going for Valencia to win 
by two goals to nil. So that is it. That is my uh, predictions for the um, Champions League match week three. Um, quickly go over them again. Um, obviously, obviously, I haven't used my uh, my phone uh, for this as well. So I'm going to Shakhtar two, Dynamo Zagreb nil. Uh, Atletico Madrid two, Bayern, Bayern Leverkusen nil. Um, Club Bruges nil, PSG two. Um, Galatasaray two, Real Madrid one. Uh, Olympiacos one, Bayern Munich three. Tottenham two, Red Star Belgrade one. Um, Man City 3, Atalanta 0 uh, Juventus 3, Lokomotiv Moscow 0 um, Red Bull Leipzig 1, Zenit St. Petersburg 1 Ajax 2, Chelsea 1 uh, Salzburg 2, Napoli 1 uh, Genk 0, Liverpool 3 uh, Inter Milan 2, Borussia Dortmund 2 uh, Slavia Prague 1, Barcelona 3 Benfica 1, Lyon 1 uh, and Lyon nil Valencia 2. So that is my predictions. I'm sure you've got your own uh, to do as well. If you want to join in, then please um, do so by putting your predictions in the comment section below. Uh, that would be much, much appreciated. And before I do stop this video, I would like to say a massive thank you to you all for subscribing to my channel. I hit 100 subscribers today. So massive massive thank you to you all for your continued support and like i said on, on my twitter i am a big friendly giant who loves talking about football and this is a football channel so you, you know if you do like football then please hit that subscribe button um i'm totally totally amazed at how this channel has been growing for three months when i did start in july so it's very, 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 very good to see, and um, I can't thank you. I can't thank you enough for uh, for all doing that. So, thank you to all my subscribers. And um, if this is the first video you've watched, then if you like what you see, like I said, hit that subscribe button, hit smash a like, leave a comment. That is entirely up to you. But uh, but yes, match week three is going to be very, very interesting indeed. Um, and there's more videos to be coming up very, very soon as well. Um, I did a review with my good friend Andrew Rogers, uh, Manchester United Liverpool. That's a, that's a, that will be on the channel very, very soon. Um, obviously, there'll be pr uh, Premier League predictions coming up as well. And then, obviously, um, SPFL um, predictions uh, as well. And it actually, I will say that now, SPFL predictions are actually... Um, uh there is actually game week this weekend and then midweek and then obviously we've got Carabao cup games as well coming up so lots of things coming on this channel very very soon and um hopefully have more um previews as well with opposition fans that would be something else to look at but uh yes i'm i'm looking i'm looking into uh, more more content but uh but yes, thank you very much for watching this video. And like I said, please hit that subscribe button. That would be massively appreciated. And um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on match week three of the Champions League. And um, we shall see what happens in all the games. And uh, shall be a very, very good one indeed to watch. But uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Enjoy the Champions League. I'm sure you will. Especially into Milan against Borussia Dortmund. That should be an absolute cracker. So... Uh, more videos coming very, very soon. Anyway, take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now.